And we're back here with Fernando. Fernando, I think we we made that work now, the WSL dash dash install. Can you show us? Yes, now we will do the WSL dash dash install dash D and the distribution. We we are expecting to see the Ubuntu installed. Uh, how they send here. Now we are on the, I think, on the latest version of the Windows preview, right? This 20 to 6 to 10, 10. So now if you do the WSL command, we, we can see here now we have these examples with the distribution, but only do, let's only do this on a WSL dash dash install, the, the comments. Okay, again, the same error, we need to be in a elevated comment. Yep. Do you want to try the online one as well? Sorry? Do you want to try the dash dash list dash dash online? Ah, yes, dash dash list dash dash online just to check if it's working. Oh, no, look at that. Beautiful. No, we have Kelly, we have our free uh, distro we have on the store, so this is great. So let's install the default, that's Ubuntu, dash the WSL dash dash install. Let's see what happens here. Again, virtual machine platform, Windows subsystem for Linux, download in the kernel. Oh, now it's downloading the Ubuntu. This is the new step. Yeah, the Ubuntu is the default one. Yeah, and I think. Okay, we need to reboot the computer. Let's reboot. Oh, it's power. Uh, restart. That's Azure VM, and Fernando, I think it take probably a few seconds to come back. I think it's amazing now you can. I think you can even change the default, and um, and now it'll be full automated to you know to enable WSL for new yes, machines. Yes, and it's very very easy. WSL dash dash install so is now it's really working. But only thing we need to have the latest version of Windows Insider. And I hope that it become general available quickly because it will help a lot when we need to move to a new computer. And again, let's see if it has restarted. I don't know if you have the time. I think not. It's you restarting. Can, we can have now. Um, we have to wait for this to be moving from you know the Windows Insider to. For the current you know windows version but it's going to come sooner than later it will be available to everyone not just okay. windows inside this uh let's see here let's see this this is this is the proper way wsl and uh oh uh oh i think i know the problem ah it's installing look mm. it opened a new window and this is installing uh, Ubuntu in a new window. Okay, after you install, I have to wait because, yeah, you cannot install until you reboot the system. Yeah, so the first time you access, it's installing Ubuntu. And in a few seconds, we'll be asked to insert the username as now and the password. Okay, it's working. And uh, if I try it again from here, I think maybe I need to close and open it again. Mm, okay, I have. I have our V balls there. Yeah. V. Yeah, yeah. I have. Oh, I have two you want to see here. They are not really running right now. And I have the icon here. Yes, I have the icon. Uh, oh, okay. We have here. It works. It is now. It's so easy to install. And thanks for that, Microsoft, Craig, for everyone that's working with that. Every time the Linux and the Windows are working better together. Perfect. Thank you, Fernando. Great. Thank you, Josh. All done now. Thanks. Well done. Thanks.